What's up guys? Dustin here, we're here back with the Montreal Canadiens GM mode. And uh, we're in the preseason now. And uh, first off, somebody asked about the uh, five-star goalie in Boston, so I'm just going to show you that really quickly. Oh, where am I going here? Uh, rookie goalies. Uh, I think I went way too... Oh, I thought I went too far there, but I didn't. Boston. There he is, five-star 62. He's only 24. He hasn't gotten any better. Um, the other thing, I didn't realize it, but I have cap issues right now. Um, so at the moment, I have Blacanic sitting down in the, uh, the AHL, which he's not very useful to us right there. Um, like literally, we're we have 4.2 million cap space, and I think he's like six million or something. Um, I feel like we're gonna have some issues with cap, obviously, like soon. Um, overall wise. Yeah, like Bergeron's 5.3, Patrick um, where is he? Oh, he should be in the system, sorry. Placanic, he's 5.2. So literally, I just barely can't get him on the lineup, which sucks. So I figured I was going to attempt to possibly trade, and I looked up players. The only player that really fit my needs, um, as a second line playmaker, uh, who happens to be a bit younger is Anze Kopitar. The only problem is his cap is 6.9, like his salary is 6.9 million. Uh, he's got four years left, but I can trade both Bergeron and Placanic for him. And it should go through. So, um, it'll. F well, it won't really free up a whole ton of cap space for us. Um, but, yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. Because, I mean, Bergeron, he's pretty solid, but he doesn't have that, like, he's, like, mid-80s offense. Puck skills is 87. Uh, I think Kopitar, his, yeah, like, his, his shooting is a lot better. His puck skills are a little bit better. Defensively, he's not the best centerman, but... Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I might keep Bergeron. Maybe I'll just get rid of Placanic. The thing is, I wanted another playmaker. Uh, Placanic, obviously, he's been a solid guy for us. He's actually pretty good. Um, I don't even know what to do, actually. <laughs> Honestly, I'm actually confused now. Uh, what do I want to do? The other thing is, Placanic is 35, whereas Anze Kopitar is 31. Um... I actually don't know if I want to do this now. 88, yeah, Placanic's actually better right at the moment. I might not trade him. But I just, I have cap issues. That's the problem right now. So, um, I don't know how I can fit them all in the lineup. I feel like I need to get rid of somebody. Maybe, actually, I wonder what our some of our fourth liners are like. Uh, Borneval, Freeburg. That's the thing. Like, we, I need, like, a million cap space basically, uh, contracts. If I can keep them both, then... But I figured Anze Kopitar was the way to go, but I guess I could... The, the biggest thing is Stamkos is $12.3 million. Like, that's ridiculous, man. I don't even know. Like, that's stupid. He's like... He's like a bunch of players. Like, Seabrook, his cap is a bit too high for us. Galchenyuk... Yeah, like, he's... Meh, he's got one more year left, but, I mean, Seabrook is just way too much for what he's worth right now. Um, a couple guys, obviously, are, like, Beaulieu and freaking Lindholm wanted, like, a lot of money. Um, which sucked. Who could I send down? CC is cheap. He's going to be expensive next year. Patrick, probably be about the same. Atkinson, probably be about the same. Pumple, 2.3. He did pretty good, though, on that uh, second line. Or third line, sorry, for us. Freeberg... Mm, white Molen. I think maybe Freeberg is the guy I need to get rid of, honestly. He should give me enough cap space. Uh, two-way forward. He's just, his defense is really good. He's a really good two-way forward. Mm, but, and like his puck skills are actually pretty decent too. But I need to either send down somebody, you know. 
man, this is a dilemma here. Bornival, I want to keep because his defense is filthy. But, actually, I wonder if Freebrick's better. Eh. Pumple, Sutter, I don't know, like, like, White, if I sent him down, that's just, that's not enough cap space. 0.9 does not give me enough. That's like 5.1 million. That literally, that literally puts us just over what we need. Like, we need 5.2, he would give us 5.1. But then there would still be the issue of, because you can't send down less than 18 players, it, I think it should let you as long as you don't try and back out, it should, like, let you. Because... I have to basically call up someone who's like really, really cheap and then send down someone and then try and call up Lacanic, which is just impossible. You can't do it because there's still the cap space from the like even the cheap player, like point, like even if I called up someone who's 0.5 million and it screws up your cap just enough to like not allow you to call up Lacanic, which is stupid, but that's how the game works. It like it should let you fix your cap space how you want and not let you back out or something like. I don't know, it's really dumb. But, okay, so... Man, Freeburg's actually really good, though. Um, who's... Wait, what about that... Uh, yeah, even Emil White... Or Emil Mullen, sorry, I was looking at his name. That's not even enough, either. Oh, man, this sucks. Freeburg is, like, the odd man out, I think. Uh, but even then, I don't even know if that'll be enough cap space. Give him another year in the AHL, I guess. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if it'll work. I don't even know if it's going to work. That's the thing. Uh, so if I call up this guy, and then I send down Freeburg, does that give me enough cap space to call up Lacanic? Oh, it does. Okay. That's good, I guess. Okay, that works. Actually, yeah. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll do that, and then... Yeah, like that guy's... Freeburg's kind of stuck, but, you know, whatever. All right, there we go. Sorry. Yeah, that kind of that was really messing me up. I couldn't figure out what to do. Uh, okay, so now my lines are all messed up. Okay, uh, Pumpo goes down there. Bergeron up there. Galchenyuk onto the first line with Stamkos. Uh, uh, Placanic there. Sutter there. Bornival, Pumpo, Bergeron, Emil Molin, Sutter, and White. That's pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, this kind of screws up my lines, though. That's fine. Uh, Galchiniak and Drew need to switch. Uh, actually, maybe I'll put him on his offhand in the on the power play. Atkinson can go down there. Uh, that's fine. That should be fine. Uh, except I want to put Bornival there. Switch that, maybe. Uh, yeah, like that. And then, obviously, we're going to have Vernus and Net. He's a pretty solid goalie. I don't know. Um, he's got some good high, like, not, like he's got some good 90s. Athletic-wise, he's not the greatest just yet. Puck control, not the greatest just yet. But, you know, he'll get there. And, I mean, Palace is a pretty, pretty solid backup for us. So, Poise, yes, Poise still isn't good, but... Like a stick low 99. He's got some good stats. I think between the two of them, we should be able to get through the year, honestly. Wow, look at that. 0.775 million dollars. Oh my god. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Just barely got it. Missed it by that much. Actually, I should probably uh, do my HL lines. There's not really anybody, because I traded Verdon in a way. Honestly, I mean, I didn't want to trade him away, but he's just, they're taking way too freaking long to, like, just hurry up and, you know. Um, Patrick. Oh, yeah, the other thing was I have two guys that are not even players on my team right now. So, did I, I think I already attempted to sign them. They're, I just, I went into the free agency and I just signed the top two uh, minor league defensemen, which are just they're 78 overall or something, just to boost our our AHL team up a bit. So I already did that. I need to do uh, scouting quickly. Oh crap! And I apologize for listening to that one person about the the uh, potentials, because I really didn't think that's how it worked. But the way he said it, I was like, oh, maybe that makes sense. 
because I was like, well, they are taking forever. Maybe it's just because their potential in the categories are low. But yeah, that was pff, whatever. <laughs> I completely shouldn't have listened to him because that was stupid. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I apologize about that. I I don't even know why I believe that. I I because yeah, I don't usually fall for that kind of stuff, and I'm just like. Well, I've played this game enough to know how it works. Potential doesn't really affect that stuff. But then I was like, well, maybe he's right. Like, maybe I'm just looking into it too much or something. But yeah, I just, I don't even know what I was thinking. So yeah, I'm not, uh, pff, I don't even know what I was thinking about there. I mean, I traded away Verdon in which, eh, you know, it happens. It's not like he was developing. He was taking way too long to develop. I could actually probably get him back if I wanted. Uh, well, yeah, where is Wait, where did I trade Verdon in Tampa Bay? I could probably get him back if I wanted. Extremely happy, extremely happy. There we go. Okay, so we got these uh, two guys for our defense core on the AHL team. I'm trying to cancel this sim there. Uh, okay, so those two guys are good to go for the AHL team. Uh, they shouldn't be signed up here, should they? No, okay. Okay, let's go do best lines down here again and then um, I'm gonna put these guys here and then I'm gonna put yeah I'm just gonna move actually I want the Subans up top I want to see if they can get better uh, so we're gonna put the Subans up there uh, Jordan Subans there uh, put Marcella Subban on this one There we go. Power play. I want to get the Subans as much playing time as I can, possibly, if possible. Possibly, if possible. So, yeah, we'll go like that. And uh, I wonder if I could get Verdon in back. Let's. I'm gonna look at it and see if I can. He was a really good prospect, but like I think I drafted him in the second year, and he's still a 60, like 66. And we're already into year seven. Which is like, wow, like, it took him forever. Um, I'm just going to quickly peek at it. I don't know if I'll be able to, but if I can, I can. If I can't, whatever. Oh, wow, I went too far. Oh, I went too far again. Uh, Verdinand, yeah, like, his value isn't even that great. He's four and a half stars, but, like, he's only a, he's still a 66, man. His shooting stats are actually really good, though. Uh, okay, what do, they, what do they want? Let's see if I can get them back. Uh, I mean, I have some fourth liners that I'd probably trade, but I don't know if they'll take them. Yeah, there's uh, Subban Petrick. He's a right wing. What is he, a four, three and a half star? I wonder if they'd take Petrick. And we'll give them a... Well, actually, let's see if I can give them a few other players. Because they had... Who's this guy? Oh, I didn't sign this guy? What is he? Four star? I totally forgot to sign this guy. Caesar Couturier. Couturier! Um, Polio, Super Cat, people. Uh, we didn't sign this guy either. Throw him on there. I should be able to get him back for that. Petrick and Hansel. He's a three and a half star. 61. Yeah. Should be able to get him back, I think. Really? What? You for reals. Okay. Uh, let's send them another unsigned. Do I have any other unsigned here? Uh, just Hansel. Okay, let's try... Clubber Nuts. Let's try this guy. Nope. Okay, let's... Uh, Colby Armstrong. No, White. Freeberg. Let's send them... Colby Armstrong. Instead. Oh, that's not going to go through. Because they have too many players. Okay, so let's just send them a bunch of unsigns that are not very good. Uh, let's try that many. Nope. Let's try one more. One more unsigned. And if not, then I don't even know. Probably not going to be able to get them back. Fox. Really? Wow. That's like a lot of value, man. Jeez. Um... Could trade Comrie, I guess. Comrie. Uh. 
It's not really worth that much, honestly. I shouldn't really worry about it too much. Corazani. Cayuette. Other forward, three and a half stars. Ekblad, Fortier, Cayuette. Look at his Cayuette. Oh, he's already a 75. Nice. I've seen some three and a half star players get to like 86. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. We're already into year seven. We only have four years left. Okay, so let's get into the preseason here. See how we do. Uh, like, center-wise, we are stacked at center. Like, Stamkos, Placanic, Bergeron, Sutter. Like, just sick centers. Um, Bergeron's obviously going to get worse on the third line. Sutter's probably going to get worse on the th on the fourth line. Like, that's inevitable. I'm assuming that's going to happen. Uh, Placanic might actually retire soon. He's 35, so, you know, there's the potential of him retiring, which I think is very plausible. Uh, six. Yeah, so. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. I mean, Sutter and Bergeron are still going to get a lot of uh, defensive. Here, I'm going to do times eight. They're still going to do a lot of defensive, uh, like, penalty killing and stuff. So they're still going to get. They're still going to get that um, experience, you know. Two nothing victory. Nice. Um, so they're, yeah, they're going to get that experience peak on the PK and like they're gonna get lots of ice time so I'm not too worried about them not getting ice time it's just I don't think sitting on those lines are gonna really be able to help the team at all I think they're gonna drop a little bit but I mean our lines are pretty solid so Ray Vernas first NHL game in the preseason gets a shutout excellent excellent indeed very nice Druin had two apples that game that's good Stamkos had two pims, didn't get a goal. <laughs> I feel like uh, having Stamkos is really going to help Druin's assists. Like, he's going to probably get a lot more assists now. I would hope anyways. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Really? Come on, guys. What are we doing? Galchiniak. Like, I feel like we might see a little bit more goals out of Galchiniak, but... Wow, really? They, wow. God. Okay, so, so far our scoring hasn't really improved at all. I figured it's Stamkos, Druin, and Galchinik would be disgusting. Um, but, pff, what do I know? Maybe I'll try... Somebody actually suggested it. I'm going to try that. I'm going to put um, Galley in the middle, and then I'm going to put Stamkos on the left... And I'm going to put a Druin on the right. We'll see if that helps. We'll just see. We'll see if that improves it. I mean, Galchenik isn't the best center. Like, his face-offs are terrible. But other than his face-offs, he's a pretty solid player. So, you know, whatever. Stamkos' face-offs are better. But he'll probably score more goals on his off wing. And same thing. Wow, two firsts for Patrice Bergeron. Then I could call up Freeberg again. Uh, ooh, that's freaking tempting. Two first rounds for Bergeron. Okay, let's check that out one sec. That's that's a very tempting trade actually, because their value, both of those trade, both of those draft picks are worth a lot. Not that I need draft picks, but if I have these two draft picks, um, how is it, Patrice? Bur how did he do so far in the preseason here? He hasn't done much. And then I could call up Freeberg. Freeberg's a really good defensive player. Bergeron's going to get worse on the third line, so. Um, oh, why did their... What the hell? I just backed out, and now, the dra now their values just went down. Did anyone else notice that? Their values went way down. Uh, what? That's weird. It said that they were, like, both worth almost as much as Patrice Bergeron. Now they're, like, half of him. Okay, well, I'm glad the game is, like, lying to me. <laughs> I just got lied to by the game. It's like, oh, yeah, don't worry. These uh, these draft picks are totally worth... They're both worth exactly what Petrie's Bergeron is. And then it's like, oh, by the way, they're not. Uh, <laughs> what? What are you doing, game? Okay, but we'll try uh, Druin and Stamkos on their off wings. 
Maybe it'll help. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. Because, I mean, uh, Gal Galli is a freaking... He's a phenomenal playmaker. It's just... Oh, I want to do times eight. Bergeron. Good thing I didn't trade him because he just scored on the power play. Druin. There we go. Oh, okay. Druin actually did pretty well in the off wing uh, those two years ago in the playoffs. Oh, nice two goals. Mullen. Excellent. 4-1 victory. Nice. Yeah, Druin did, like, when I put him up on the uh, right wing, he played with, I think it was Pacioretty and Placanic. I think it was. I've kept Pacioretty and Placanic together this entire time. Just because they play really well together. But I put Drew on that second line in the playoffs. I think he was still in 84 at the time. And he, like, he actually got quite a few goals. So, yeah, we'll see. All right, one last game. We're almost down the preseason here. Da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to go as fast as possible. I don't want to quick sim through the preseason. But, you know, I'm trying to do times eight or whatever just so I can two first for Bergeron as well. Phoenix would be unstoppable if I gave them Bergeron. Whenever you trade players, they just do like 10 times better than the other team. It's ridiculous. Like, I bet uh, Carey Price already is like doing a phenomenal Tampa. I wouldn't doubt it. Alright, come on game. Hurry up. Hurry up. I feel like we're going to have a good year. We should anyways, I don't know. Uh, continue. Okay. Last game, and then we'll finish. Look at the stats really fast. I thought Druin had like four goals. What the hell? It's weird. Runeblad on the power play. Right. Bouchard ties it. Second period. Third period. Suvan on the PP. White. There we go. 3 1. 3 1 victory. Alright. Our first line isn't putting in a whole lot of goals, but. They should get better, I hope. <laughs> Our goalie's pretty solid. Vernus is playing well right now, so. See how he does. Do, do, do. Also, let me know what I should do for uh, goalie losses. I feel like, I don't know, like I was doing a 5 loss to 2 loss ratio, and then Price started doing bad, and Palazzo started doing good, so. I kind of like backed off of that, but. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think for that. For the uh, win-loss ratio for the goalies. Not win-loss. Like, loss. I thought Druin had, like, four goals. Doesn't he? I thought he got two goals in one game, and then... Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm mistaken right now. Okay, let's see how our... Stamkos didn't... I don't even think Stamkos got a goal. Or did... No, did he get a power play goal? I can't remember. But yeah, he's not doing a whole lot. Oh, maybe I should change the power play too and put them on their on their loft wings. Uh, Druin had five points. Bolia had four. Sutter with four. Galchenik had two. Where the hell is Stamkos? Zero points? What the frick? Oh my god, this is gonna be a bust. This this was gonna be a bust trade, isn't it? It's like, oh, by the way, Stamkos isn't gonna score ever for you. So good luck with that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop it there. Let me know what you guys think about the goalie thing. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put uh, Stamkos on the left wing and then Drun on the right wing on the power play. See how that works uh, into the season. And we'll do that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.